Good morning, everybody. Um, how are you? Okay? I hope you're okay. I've somehow managed to chap my lips. I don't even know how. I don't leave my house. It's not cold outside. <laughs> I got nothing. But just to make things even more fun while being trapped in the house, I have chapped lips. Um, okay, so that was fascinating information for you, I'm sure. Um, also, I wore my book nerd shirt today because nothing better than a book nerd shirt. Um, okay, let's jump in. We are at uh, week 21. How big are your feet? I thought you were speaking in code, James. That's why I didn't answer. Not at first. I was deciphering your code. How big are your feet? You mean, will I be running from crimes? Committed? How big are your feet? You mean, will I be tall enough to beat you up one day? How big are your feet? For stomping and pitching fits? But you meant it just like you asked it. How big are my feet? Then you plopped down the sneakers. Not new, but almost new. Check out these kicks. And you thought you were so cool saying kicks instead of sneakers. James, James, James. But you got the size exactly right. Did you used to work at a carnival? Now that would be cool. Thanks for the sneakers. I mean kicks. Well, no I don't. I mean sneakers. <laughs> what do you think about when you think about your father? Mrs. B sounds so formal when she asks questions like that. What do I think about? I look at the phone on Mrs. B's desk. It's rectangular and flat, shiny and smooth. Sometimes it vibrates or beeps and she ignores it because we're talking. Or really, she's talking. But dad never ignored his phone. That was also rectangular and flat, shiny and smooth and never far from his hand. It had games on it and beeps from doctors and people at work and reminders for Levi's appointments. This is kind of like the heart of the family. He said once, holding it up as it chirped with messages. Everything circulates through this phone. Cool, huh? And I said, cool. And I was so stupid on the rainy day when he went to the pharmacy to pick up Levi's meds. So stupid. Because I noticed he'd left his phone right there on the kitchen counter, black and smooth. He'd left the heart of the family right there in the open with nothing but a dying battery. And I should have known it was a clue. I should have known if he could leave the heart of the family, he could leave us too. That's what I think about when I think about my father. Can I use the computer now? She thought she was being sneaky, that I wouldn't notice the picture back on the wall, the one with me and dad and a football in the air, frozen in a moment of time so long ago. But I noticed when she got home from work, she saw when she got home from work and saw the picture, saw the newly drawn devil horns and evil doer mustache and vampire teeth all on dad's face. She noticed. But all she said was, fair enough. And then we ate dinner, smiling into our spaghetti. Who was in charge of that carnival thing? The carnival of giving? Why does it have such a dumb name? Why can't it be the secretly put money in this envelope celebration? Or the congrats, you won the fake lottery party? Or the shut up and take the money fiesta? I've been to the carnival before. The people who are getting the money give speeches on a stage. A stage filled with balloons. They smile and wave and take all the money back to their homeless dogs or non-existent skate park or library with not enough books. I've never seen a family make those speeches. I've never seen just three people get the money. I mean, we're not a charity, so it's not even possible. I should throw this flyer away. They've found us more hours. At first, I didn't know what mom meant. They found us more hours? Who? Wizards? Scientists? A secret group of time-pausing elves? 
Do we really need more hours? Aren't the days long enough? Won't we get older faster? Won't we be more tired? Who actually needs more hours? More nursing hours, Timothy. I smiled and said, maybe Marisol could just move in. It was a joke. But mom's face crumpled, just caved in on itself. Marisol can't work full time. The nursing agency will send someone new. Wait. What? No more Marisol? Just like that? Is this from the conversation I had with Mrs. B? Could she have called the nursing people? Change things up just like that? What have I done? I really do need a time machine now so I can go back in time and never open my big mouth. Week 22. I robbed a bank yesterday and ran so fast no one could catch me. It was because of these kicks, James. These shoes you got me. They were like hurricane force winds blowing me through the streets. And I even let some of the money drift behind me, like those streams of exhaust crisscrossing the sky when airplanes zoom off to faraway places. I wanted to say thank you to the police for being so slow. I wanted to say thank you to the people for cheering as I ran past. I wanted to say thank you to you, James, for giving me the world's fastest shoes. Good thing you can't go to juvie for a dream, right? You know I'm 12, right? Seventh grade. I change trakes in my spare time, rob banks in my dreams. Mom just laughed, shook her head. She rang the doorbell. I don't need a babysitter. Mom's eyebrows went up. Tell that to the judge, T-Man. Don't call me T-Man. Jose's mom answered the door, just like always, her smile showing first. Hola, mijo. Her voice smooth like a hand on my cheek. She pulled me into a hug. I couldn't pull away, so I gave in. Melted a little, I guess. Feeling her bigness around me, her softness protecting me, like those heavy pillows Mrs. B uses, keeping me still, keeping me calm. Thank you, Carmen. Mom's voice sounded smiley but tight. Levi's clinic appointments can go really long. Three doctors, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. Jose's mom held up her hand. I'll drop him at school and pick him up after. No te preoccupies. Mom's hand reached out squeezed Jose's mom's hand. You're a lifesaver, Carmen. I can tell by mom's voice, though, she's going to be preoccupied by a lot of things. I probably said that wrong, sorry. Levi doesn't understand. He squirms, he fusses. Marisol is holding him to her chest, squeezing him, smelling his baby hair. A tear falls down her cheek. I look away. This is all my fault. Something that seemed so good has turned out terrible. Yet again. Keep me updated? Mom nods. She has on her I am brave and will not cry face. I'll be back to visit. Mom nods again. Timothy. Marisol puts Levi down. She turns to me. Does she hate me? Does she know this is my fault? Marisol signs brother. She sniffs. She smiles. Keep teaching him, okay? I sign okay, because now it's my throat that's too tight to talk. <sighs> feelings, feelings, feelings. How is it that I can have so many feelings that they all swirl together until I feel so much all at one time that it's almost like I feel nothing at all? I'm not making sense. Sorry. Can I still use your computer, Miss B, please? Tiny curls all over her head, gray, like dishwater, her face, like someone with giant fingers pinched her mouth and nose, eyes into a point, her scrubs covered in clowns, clowns, really, yes, clowns, and her voice, fake, high-pitched, she talks to Levi like he's a dog, an especially stupid dog, Mary, that's her name, so close to Marisol, but so different. I hate her so much. My hands shake. What have I done?
Okay. That's it for today. Um, I get a question a lot. People ask if Mary and Marisol are based on any people that I know. Um, and I will tell you that, uh, years ago we had nurses in our house when my son was sick and Marisol is kind of a combination of a lot of the nurses that we had who were really great. Um, and Mary is definitely based on one nurse we had who was not so great. Um, so keep that in mind as we continue on the story. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. I think today is called Thur Fry Sun Wens Monday. I don't know. It's all the same day now. Um, so have a great one of those days and um, please be well. Wash your hands. Get really in there. This part, don't forget your thumbs. You come up here, this, get it all, right? Every single part of it, all of your hands. And then dry and hand sanitize on top of that. Okay? That's how we learned how to do it in the hospital when my son was sick. All right. Wash those hands. Okay. We'll talk tomorrow.